Hello once again. Hey, it's Dan down here in the workshop in Virginia. I wanted to share a little, uh, another mod I made to the Cassendo. I must uh, tell you, this is not my original idea. There's a guy on the RC forum, and I fully intended to give him credit, but I've gone back. I can't find the link. I can't find his name, but this is not my idea. It's his. But what I've done as you know, there's the skid on this airplane is a very thin uh, little thing, and uh, I have a grass field, so it doesn't bother me too much, but you can uh, try to replace that with these things. You can get a set of these. This is a FMS. It's a FMM uh, RH1100. It's made, they're, they're actually wheel wings. They actually were made to go out on the wing out on this on the FMS plane. But you get two of them in a pack for six bucks and you take one and you shape it to fit the fuselage down here. And it's quite a process. These are the tools I've used. First you take the good old clippers and you clip the, you clip the one on and you clip it off and then I had this cool little stylus by Dremel. You take this, it's a spiral bit, and you just shave that thing right down flat. Shaves clean as a whistle. Once you get that cleaned down, you can figure out where you want to put this wheel skid. But you can see in the bottom, this portion right here has a bump where the wheel goes. So you have to position it on here, like so. And then you have to mark with a <clears throat> mark of the, the little grids, the little slits in here, the air scoops. You have to mark a place that will allow this to be recessed. This portion here gets recessed down inside the skid. And then you have to go in with a Dremel tool again or a craft knife, cut out the oval so that this will center will fit down in there. And then you have to spend a considerable amount of time with this thing shaping it on with a Dremel tool and back and forth like this getting this filing down. Took about an hour or so fussing around. Finally I said close enough is good enough. So you get close and then I just took good old foam tack. Foam tack glue which uh, you know I'm a big fan of. You take that put it all around the edge and then <clears throat> Glue it down. I took another one of these yellow rubber bands, put a yellow rubber band around here and just let it set overnight. Now you can see it's not a perfect, this is not, in, I got tired. It's not a perfect seal, but it, I think it's close enough. I think this foam tack will hold it. The one bad thing about this I can see is that that's an air vent. Well, I've covered up the air vent. Well, I'm thinking that the air vent on this is not a big problem. It's a glider. Uh, I don't think it's going to overheat the ESC, but if it does, you could drill a little series of holes in here, get the air going back through there. But, you know, if you're not really running this thing, it's a glider. You take it up, you let it go, it cools down on back, come down. So anyway, I haven't flown it yet, but there she is. It's a little wheel skid you put on there. It's, it's kind of smallish, but yet, it's, it's, I've seen some others, there's some guys on the, out there on the forum also 3D printed you know if you're a 3D printer kind of guy they print some really big things but they're sort of sort of uh, clunky looking to me but anyway this looks pretty good and uh, put a little drop of oil on the wheel so it doesn't squeak I guess and uh, we'll see how she works I didn't think I mentioned this another one I mentioned before uh, a little mod I made this is a FlySky six channel receiver in there. I finally ha I had some glitch problems with this plane going up and glitching because all the wires were down in there around the ESC. Believe me, you don't want the darn antenna near the ESC. So I finally got it some time ago, got it turned around. This is a six channel FlySky receiver and the, it just has one antenna. It comes out the back and you can see it. I've just run it down the side of the plane, put some good old uh, packing tape down there it works like a champ and no more glitches so she's working great but anyway I wish I could give the guy credit who came up with this idea but whoever you are thanks very much um, 
not trying to I am trying to steal your idea but I'm not trying to steal your your thoughts or your your proprietary data whatever I'm just trying to use what what you showed so anyway it's out there in the RC groups if you know who you are thank you very much and I uh, hope this helps so out here